What's up guys, Dana Lynn Bailey here, and it's this wonderful time of year where all we can do is think of celebrating. So we have Thanksgiving come up, we got Christmas coming up, and what do those holidays have to do with? Getting together and eating. But today I have for you how to stay on track this Thanksgiving. It's not that hard guys, it's very simple. For instance, green bean casserole. Take the green beans out, put them in a pot. Forget the casserole, who needs that? Dana, Lynn, Bailey. Let's go, do what I do. Work like I still got something to prove. Let's go, all I do. Work like I still got something to prove. All right guys, so I have 10 tips for you to stay on track this holiday season. And if you stick around to the end, I am going to make you a super yummy, healthy recipe that you guys can bring to your own party. So stick around. All right, tip number one is remember that Thanksgiving is only one day. If you want to go and have Thanksgiving like everybody else, it's not going to throw you off track that much. It's okay to enjoy yourself here and there as long as you're on track most of the other times. One day is not going to ruin everything. I think it's important to know that. It's not a week. I know there's leftovers and leftovers are really good. So if you're just eating Thanksgiving dinner for the next three, four, five, six days, yeah, you're gonna have to go to the gym a little bit more. So remember that Thanksgiving is one day and you can enjoy that one day. And then there's always tomorrow to get right back on track. Tip number two is bring your own healthy dish so that when you go there, you already know that you at least have a good side that you can eat with your turkey. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna go I'm going to give you what I make every single year, and it happens to be everybody's favorite side dish. And it's healthy, it's good, it's super like Thanksgiving-y with all the vibes. But bring a healthy dish with you. Tip number three is a little controversial. Before these videos, I like to see what everybody else writes. And literally everybody says one of their tips is eat before you go. I'm going to go on the opposite side and I fast. Uh, I already do intermittent fasting, so that works for me anyway. So we usually eat around two o'clock. So I just don't eat until Thanksgiving. So then I save up most of my calories so that I can go a little ham on Thanksgiving because I didn't eat yet. And I see where people are saying like, eat before you go is so that you show up and you're already kind of like full. Thing with Thanksgiving is regardless if I'm full or not, I'm going to still get the same size plate as I always get. I'm gonna still get my turkey and stuffing, potatoes. I'm gonna get all the things and I'm still gonna eat it. The fact that I'm eating before too just adds to the amount of calories that I'm eating in one day. So this is gonna to have to come based on what type of person you are. Um, I find that uh, when I don't eat, I get full so much faster because my stomach's in that like shrunken state that when I do eat my Thanksgiving meal, I fill up so fast. That one's a little controversial. You're gonna have to take it up to you, but I just fast. I skip a meal for those couple extra calories that you're gonna eat at your Thanksgiving dinner. Tip number four, drink lots of water. A lot of times people mistake hunger for thirst. So make sure that you're like constantly drinking water Water is greater than alcohol, okay? So drink lots of water before, during, after to kind of keep your belly uh, a little bit full so that you do not overeat. Tip number five is how to portion your plate. I feel like such a teacher right now. Our standard little Thanksgiving plate. So if you portion out your plate, quarter of it should be your protein, so your turkey. The other quarter should be like your carbs, so potatoes, stuffing, 
And then this part can be filled with all your veggies, everything that's colorful underneath the sun. This is imp important to keep big because there, this is where all the fiber is. So that's gonna fill you up and help you feel a lot more full, but it feels like you're eating a ton. So like a bunch of green beans here, like you could eat, fill this whole thing with green beans, like big mound of green beans. It's not gonna be a whole lot of calories versus like, uh, like a scoop of potatoes. That's probably has, depending if your grandparents, my, my grandfather makes potatoes and he puts like three sticks of butter in it. <laughs> That's a lot of calories. So quarter protein, quarter carbs, the rest of your plate can be your veggies. Tip number six, portion control. Limit yourself to one plate. After that one plate, really analyze if you're actually hungry or if you're just getting up for seconds because it's Thanksgiving and you, you normally don't eat this food and you just keep filling yourself up. So try to limit yourself to one plate so that you can maybe have some dessert in a nice uh, portion. So full, but so good. Speaking of mm. portion size. Mm. Mm. That's a very, very large piece of pie you have there. Shut up, it's Thanksgiving. What happened to you? You used to get on me. I know, but it's Thanksgiving and this pie is so good. And I now have table belly. Look at this, no hands. I am, I am confused. Leave me alone. So I took your advice and joined the DLB Daily and I love it, seeing great results. So I thank you for that, but I feel like you fell off the bandwagon at some point. Maybe you should, maybe you need to get back on? Maybe, for New Year's. Isn't that what New Year's is for? And if you guys need help with your training and don't know what the DLB Daily is, it is my website, it is my daily training, danalynbailey.com. Make sure you click that link below here it will take you to my site. You get to try it out for the first seven days for free. And then at $7 a month, you get insight to all of my training, all of my tips, all of my exercises, exclusive video, exclusive Facebook group page where we do live Q and A's all the time. And I will help you stay on track, not just during Thanksgiving, but all year. So we'll see you there. New Year's resolution. Sign up for DLB Daily. Lose my table belly. How do you get out of this thing? I can't get it. Ugh. Tip number seven is limit the extra calories where you can. Gravy is a big, big factor on today. You pour gravy on your turkey, you pour it on your stuffing, you pour it on your t potatoes. Yes, you can use it, but like you don't need to douse it. Things like butter, you can eat biscuits without butter. Um, limiting like sauces, dips. Figure out those little extra calories that are going to add up and just try to limit them. So gravies, sauces, dips, spreads, butter. Limit those. Number eight, eat slow and enjoy your food. When you eat slower, your body has enough time to analyze, okay, I'm getting full, I'm getting full. But if you're the type of person, which I am that person, I eat really fast. But if I want to watch what I'm eating, take your time, enjoy the conversation at the table, slow your eating down so that your body has enough time to process that like, okay, I'm getting full. When you eat really fast, you don't realize it and then you're already up for seconds and then you eat your second plate and you're like, oh, what, what happened? Oh. Yeah, you ate too fast and you didn't let your body react. So eat slow, enjoy the conversation around you. Tip nine is, it's Thanksgiving. Treat yourself to a little pumpkin pie. But when I say treat, that doesn't mean, oh, I get pumpkin pie, I get the apple pie, I get these brownie things, the cookies. Treat yourself, don't overindulge. Simple as that. And the last tip, uh, which is the most important and the best one of all, is use all those extra calories 
and have a bomb ass workout the next day or maybe even that night. Most gyms aren't open that night. So that next day, do something heavy. Maybe you squat, You're, you'll have the best leg day of your life because you have all those extra calories. Use them and kick your own ass. All right, so now that we have covered our tips to stay on track, this is a healthy recipe that you can bring with you to the party. This is something that I make every single year because it's so good. I love Brussels sprouts. So it's a uh, roasted Brussels sprout, usually with butternut squash. Couldn't find butternut squash, so we're gonna substitute sweet potatoes. So you can use sweet potatoes or uh, butternut squash with cranberries with a balsamic uh, glaze at the end. I don't have like a wonderful name for it, but ingredients, we got Brussels sprouts, butternut squash or sweet potatoes. We have our glaze, a balsamic reduction. So that's what a glaze is. Uh, you need some olive oil, cinnamon, salt, pepper, and some dried cranberries and forgot we're gonna roast some pecans as well so what you gotta do is i take the brussels sprouts first cut them in half and then you do maybe like a tablespoon of oil just so that they're all all coated mix them all around so that they're nice and coated and then i also salt and pepper them Then I grab a baking sheet that's already, I kind of sprayed it so that the bottom, when they're down, they just have a little extra coating that hopefully they'll get even more crispy on the bottom. I then uh, flip them over so that they're on their half side. We'll just put them all on one side in case these get done faster. So next, I'm not even gonna wash that out. You take your butternut squash, or in this circumstance, your sweet potatoes. Same little thing, toss those. And then I add a little bit of cinnamon, just ground cinnamon. Toss around. And then I'm just gonna put it on the same baking sheet because we're doing not as many. So I add a little pepper, a little extra pepper to the top, a little cinnamon on the top. Okay, thank you. You're preheated. <laughs> um, we're then gonna, so preheat the oven to 400. These are gonna go in for about 20 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna like flip them so that they can kind of brown on both sides. We just kind of scatter them, scatter them around and then cook another 10 minutes. Obviously check it at that 20 minute and see how much longer, but it's usually about 20 minutes Scatter them around, move them around, flip them over so that they brown on both sides and then put it in for another five to 10 minutes. All right. All right, now that our Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, butternut squash is done, I'm then going to roast uh, our pecans. They don't take that long. Um, so I just wait until that's all done. These will be roasted at 350 degrees. And I, I honestly stay right next to it because these will burn really, really fast. So I set the timer for about three minutes and then it's anywhere between three and five minutes. I'll roast them. It doesn't say to spray them, but I always spray like everything so that when I cinnamon it, it stays on a little bit better. So I'll, I'll sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on these guys. And then we stick these in the oven for three minutes. All right, so we're gonna put everything into the bowl. We can add our cranberries a while. I don't really measure. It's, I just go by how pretty it looks. Just added a little color. So good. All right, 
We're just gonna pour those babies in. Ugh, smells so good right now. Give it a little mix so all the ingredients are kind of mixed and marinated together. Last but not least, we got our balsamic glaze. That is the final product. It looks so good. Yup. That's perfect. Get out of here. Not Thanksgiving yet. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, that you guys all try this amazing recipe. Every year I make it, it's everybody's favorite. So if you are interested in making it, make sure to click the link down below and it will take you to a blog post with the full recipe. So again, it's Thanksgiving. It's time to enjoy yourself. Remember Thanksgiving is only one day. So because of that, we're making green bean casserole. <laughs> Bringing it back. All right, we'll see you later.